Heine UK. Today I would like to show you um, our, one of our compressors. It's a Heine Big Air 40 liter. Today uh, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and later on I'm gonna uh, do a few tests. One gonna be uh, to pump the van tire uh, from flat to 36 psi. I'm gonna do it twice, once with uh, engine on, one is with engine off. We're not gonna cut this video, so it's gonna be quite long, so we can always skip the uh, boring part. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a nice carry case with Velcro at the back of the case and on the bottom, so it will keep compressor um, in your boot in one place at the sharp corners. Inside we've got uh, manuals, together with a spare fuse, that's 15 amp fuse. We've got 75 centimeters long um, hose, that's quick release, standard valve size um, hose. Uh, if you need a presto valve, there's attachment and a few more for um, pull toys and bubbles. And we've got a compressor, standard cigarette lighter, 15 amp fuse inside. Let me show you how to replace it if you ever need. Um, a cable. It's uh, three meters long, so we've got three meters plus uh, 75 centimeters of the hose. Yeah, compressor itself. Uh, there's a gauge uh, up to seven bars, which is 100 psi. Uh, LED torch, if you ever need to uh, use it at night. And one more thing, it shows uh, Maximum performance is 40 liters per uh, minute. Uh, maximum um, pressure is 125, so nine bars. Uh, the gauge shows you only up to 100 PSI, seven bars. That's because uh, if the scale is bigger, uh, it's less uh, accurate. And uh, not many cars use uh, uh, anything over 100 PSI. So uh, yeah, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna carry out tests. They're gonna be flat tire. Uh, we're gonna put it to 36 PSI. Uh, we're gonna check the time. After that, we're gonna uh, put the engine on and see the difference. What's the difference? How uh, this compressor perform on the engine off and engine on. And then maybe some more realistic tests. So uh, just top it up the tire. Uh, this tire is quite, quite big. There's a van tire, so we're gonna uh, uh, pump it uh, to 36 psi, and then we're gonna do some top-ups from 36 to 47, and so on. So you, you can, you could see uh, how quick is it, and how we cope the, with the high pressure tires. Now we're gonna uh, plug it in inside. Yeah, so compressor is equipped with standard 12V plug. You can uh, plug in cigarette lighter. You can uh, plug in Okay, I'm gonna put them down. So as you can see, uh, it's no problem for VWT5 uh, long wheel base to reach the rear wheel, even if you plug it in. Uh, at the front. Uh, for the longer vans, you might need an extension. Okay, so now we got flat tire here. I'm gonna connect it. It has quick release uh, connector. Yeah, let's see the gauge. Gauge shows zero. So uh, let me just show you. That's the torch. If you need the compressor at night. And now we're gonna turn it off and see how quick um, this compressor goes to 36 PSI, which is standard for uh, this van when it's not unloaded.
well done. Uh, so it's quite big tire. It's uh, 235, 55, 17 inch. So it needs uh, quite a lot of air. The engine was off if you want to boost the uh, compressor because that uh, the power depends on the uh, on your battery. So when the um, engine is off, it takes all the power from the battery. Uh, you can turn the engine on and that will uh, boost the speed of the compressor. So as you can see, it's no problem for this compressor to drop quite big tire from flat uh, to 35 psi. Yeah, now now let's see how um, gauge is accurate. So let's see uh, what it shows here. So it shows two and a half bar. So I'm gonna set up the electronic gauge on uh, bars. I'm gonna disconnect it. So you simply uh, put the little up and disconnect it. So we have a zero and yeah, it shows uh, 245. So pretty much the same as the gauge on the compressor. Now we're gonna uh, repeat the test. Uh, we're gonna turn the engine on and you will see how uh, quick this compression can be with uh, full power. Yeah, okay, it took us uh, about four and a half minutes uh, with engine off. Now we can see engine is running, so it will give a little boost to the compressor. So let's see, we've got again flat tire, the same tire. I'm gonna connect the house, lock it. As you can see, the gauge shows zero. Okay, we have two and a half bars, 
Yeah, like I said, it's quite big tire, so we need quite a lot of air. But this compressor uh, can do it um, in three minutes when the engine is running. That gives the little boost uh, to the compressor. So yeah, uh, now we can disconnect it. We can once again uh, check the pressure. I'm gonna put it in the bars. So we've got 2.3. So a little bit less. Let's see if we can connect it again. We lost a little bit of pressure, so I can you can see it's it's under two and a half. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, like more realistic day-to-day -day test. So I'm topping up the tire. Now we've got two and a half bars, which is 36 psi roughly. Uh, engine is on, and we're gonna try to put the pressure up to three and a half bars, which is uh, 50 psi. So let's start the test. Uh. people asking if uh, you can have an extension for the cable um, we had a one question that's 15 amp uh, compressor if you use 10 amp um, extension lead this compressor simply burn your extension lead so don't use that we can um, we have another question regarding uh, topping up uh, lorry uh, tires to 130 psi I wouldn't recommend this compressor. Look at the size of this compressor. It's not uh, for the big, big uh, lorry or uh, salmon mixer. Uh, some question like, uh, can I top up Land Rover um, tires? Uh, I think it's another problem. You can see 50 uh, PSI. It's another problem for this compressor. Um, so uh, it's basically made to reach high pressure. It's not to use um, for the longer time. So if you have like a swimming pool for kids and you want to use this compressor uh, to pump it up, uh, that um, it's not a good good compressor for it. Small uh, pool toys, yeah, good enough. That's because it's made to work up to seven minutes without break. Otherwise, this one will get red hot and um, it's not for the volume of the of the air it's more to reach high pressure in 
short time. If you uh, need to extend uh, um, this this lead, you need to have a 15 amp um, cable. Or oh, there's another way. Um, give me one moment. Yeah, that's the extension lead. That's 10 amp. I've just burned it. The, the fuse went after use. But there's another option. You can always extend the hose. So we do offer one and a half meter hose. So maybe for the, if you are a motor home owner, you can do that. So just clip it in and you've got extra one and a half meter. So this vehicle is 5.2 meter long and it's no problem. So if you have like six and a half meter long vehicle, that will do the job. The only thing at the end, you've got screw in valve connector. I hope that this test was uh, useful for you. If yes, please click the like button. If you have any questions, leave the comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.